hello guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today here in this video i want to show everyone on how to create spot height in autocad uh, civil 3d so here is my data on excel sheets so you should arrange your data the way you are seeing on the screen as well then you can minimize the then you open your spot plan, the spot height plan in your AutoCAD Civil 3D. So here it is my spot height plan. So I want to generate the spot height on this plan. All right. So when you open your spot plan, which is the AutoCAD drawing, you come to point groups. On your point groups, you right click. So if you can see the options, these are the options under prospector okay you come to the two box here so this is prospector icon this is for settings this is for survey this is for two box so you make sure you check this so that you can see these options all right then you come to points groups you right click you come to new then here on your points group name you name this so i'm just going to give this sports heights all right then when you are done with this you leave this as basic all right then you come to point label style okay so you make sure this is just elevation only elevation only then you come to this icon here all right you click on this icon this is where you are going to do the setup for the fonts and the test height all right so you come to the test height so i'll be going with uh, the default three millimeter all right then here which is the font type you click on this three dotted icon all right then you highlight this you highlight this command there the here which is the point elevation all right so you make sure this is on point elevation so the precision of my point elevation i want it to be in two decimals all right so the 0 0.01 is okay by me and definitely is a meter all right then you click on this arrow here then you come to format then you can format the font to the font of interest so i'm just going to leave it as times new roman okay so this is where you get to do that then here you can change the color of the text so i'm just going to leave it as the default white all right then you click on okay so when you are done with all this here nothing to do much again okay then you click on apply and okay then here lastly you click on apply and okay therefore when you are done with that you come to your excel sheet however the heading is not readable by the civil 3d tools so therefore on your excel sheet all right under the name column okay you come to the uh, id of the first uh, spot height then you make it a whole value all right so without text that is one the second one two all right this is the readable format by the civil 3d software then you can now highlight the two numbers which is one two then let me quickly increase this then after you highlight you use the plus uh icon beneath the two number two then you drag down so that it can automatically number and id the rest of the spot height serially okay so that is just the idea so this uh the name column should be with just numbers and not numbers and text so if you want the description of this uh, spot height, you can create a column for description, all right? So in the video attached to the end screen, or you can check the video description to see the video on how to import survey data with description into AutoCAD utility. However, in the course of this video, I just want to create the spot height, which is the data here, all right? So when you number the spot height serially, all right, then you delete the headings so this headings is not readable by the autocad civil 3d software so when you highlight the heading you right click then you delete very important you make sure you delete the heading and you note the arrangement of your data this is name this is nothings instance then elevations do you get that when you are done with that you come to the file then you save as then you note the folder you create a folder then you come and save it as comma delimited comma delimited when you are done with that you click on save then and yes so when you are done with this you close your excel sheets okay come to the points icon all right then you right click then you create so this is the import 
point icon then you click on that then you click on this plus sign here therefore you navigate to the folder where you have your spot height data set so i save it under my youtube folder and i name it white spot height so you click on that automatically it's going to read the uh, extension of your uh, data so it is dot csv then you click on open therefore you are going to see a green tick which shows that it is imported successfully so that's not all you come to this specified point five format all right then you scroll to the file format that you saved your data as remember it is name nothings instance and elevation so you will come to that file format of that particular data all right so we want p which is the point all right nothings instance and elevations so you can see it here this is point which is the name nothings instance and elevations and it is comma delimited so you specify the file format of your data so as you can see on this preview this is point number one two and the rest this is nothings this is instance and lastly this is elevations so if you have description attached to it you will click on this however there is no description on my data so i'll be going with this and note this is command limited which is the csv format all right then you check this box add points to points group okay so that your data can be saved under the points group uh, file we created okay so when you are done with that you click on okay and you close this window so if you zoom you are going to see the spot height automatically created on your spot map plan all right however this id is expected to be color brown and not red all right therefore if yours is not showing this particular icon as a spot height symbol okay you come to points groups click on this plus sign behind it come to the spot height uh, points groups you created you right click then you come to properties so on your properties you come to the basic icon here you click on that so if yours is not on marker maybe it's on information or is on display you come to marker so these are the different uh, icon for points all right so you click on this asterisk right this asterisk so when you click on that you are going to see it displayed here so when it is displayed here you come to the size options then you make it use size in absolute units so that you can easily edit the size of the uh, spot icon so i'm going to use three in this case all right so when you click on three you don't apply yet you come to display remember the color is actually red the color of the uh, spot height icon is actually red and that is marker all right so you come to this icon color here you click on that then you can now make it brown so spot height icon is expected to be brown so you click on this brown option then you click on ok so it is going to change then you click on apply and ok then lastly you click on apply and ok and it is automatically going to change to brown and that is how i create spot height in autocad civil 3d so guys even though you don't have the autocad civil 3d you can as well as create your spot height map easily using the normal autocad just check under the comment section to see the video on how to do that if you find this video helpful do it to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification bell on this channel if you are yet to do so thank you see you in the next video